Welcome back to our Western edition of the Gloves Are Off. It's, uh, we're talking chucks and CPCA and Stampede. And I want to get into this offside onside topic because I've had the chance to talk to you both really extensively now about these changes to the Stampede. But I want to get into this major one, which is from four outriders down to two. Um, spoken to officials too from the Stampede who maintain that this is an effort to safety is the number one concern. But as an outrider, Dustin, what's your initial reaction to this, your gut reaction? It's a little bit of a shock, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, Calgary was uh, one of the last places that we were running for, and you kind of could tell over the years that the change was coming, and this was the year they did it. Do you think that it's really going to be that significant going from four to two just because of the fewer number of horses that are actually out there? Uh, the amount of penalties from the outriders is obviously going to be cut down mm -hmm. more than half, I think. You know, okay. you're going to have your, your better horses out there uh, more often, you're going to have your your better competing outriders are out there more often, so you're going to see less and less penalties. What do you think it's going to mean for outriders as far as income is concerned? Because is this uh, obviously with less horses available to ride, that means less outriders making less money. Yeah, I guess if you did the math, it's you know pretty common sense with less outriders, mm -hmm. the amount that's going to be paid out is reduced. But you know, as individuals, I guess it will depend upon uh, you know how many rides they get and, and who they ride for. And at this point in time, you probably can't really even predict that. A flip side of it though too, does it not just make the sport that much more competitive because then you're going to see more of the best and more often? Yeah, I think that's where Calgary was going okay. going with and uh, you know guys aren't going to be riding as much heat so they're going to be a, a little more rested. You know it, it's one of those things there where it's a big shock this year but four or five years down the road everybody will be used to it and uh, I compare it to the changes in hockey. Okay. When, when they took the, the hooking and whatnot out of the sport, at, at first there's a shock, but now you don't even think about it, and that's just the way the sport is. And it's not that new, obviously, for WPCA and CPCA. The, the Stampede is now just aligning with how you guys do things all season long. So do you think that it's going to be that much of a drastic visual cha change, or do you think it's just, all oh, same old? I think for the Calgary Stampede, obviously, if you reduce eight outriders or eight horses, you know, visually it is going to be a change. Mm -hmm. But as Dustin talked about, you know, common sense is obviously there's going to be some less penalties and you know for the fans that are really diehard chuck wagon fans you know they'll probably analyze it and they'll notice a bit of a difference but in the big picture as Dustin said over a period of time life will go on just like anything else okay. and Calgary Stampede has, has made changes to uh, to safety in the chuck wagon itself over a number of years and um, you know be it right or wrong I, I guess everybody's gonna have a different opinion but uh, you just move forward. What about, I have to ask you guys about this too, because it was in the media for a little while about people protesting and, and that kind of thing. Do you think that that was necessary or are both of you almost glad that that negativity is over? I guess everybody's allowed to their own opinion and, mm -hmm. and that was the opinion they, they felt that had to be stand. Uh, and, and that's their choice as a person and, uh, and they went forth to it. Uh, it was a little bit of bad negativity. Uh, I think it's done with now and we'll move forward. Yeah. Are you happy just to be moving on from it, Brian? Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of positive. And, and I guess at the same time, as much as a, a protest, regardless, it's happening all over the world, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but it does show the passion that these guys have right. for chuck wagon racing. So you have to commend them on that. And, uh, you know, I guess we got a lot of good things happening in the CPCA this year. And, and for us, it's just let's move forward and let's get at it. OK, oh, quickly, the fitness to compete. This is a change that was made, not that specific. But is it encouraging to know that the Stampede is being proactive as far as keeping a close eye on these kinds of things? What do you think, Dustin? Yeah, they always did keep an eye on them. But, yeah. you know, uh, now they put the rules to it and regulations, which is fine. And and most guys did almost keep that outline for themselves. <laughs> 95% uh, of the guys going to the Calgary Stampede have two good outfits. Okay. And for, say, Dad, he'd run his good outfit two nights, and then he'd run his second outfit two nights. Okay. And, and it was always kind of that way, and now uh, Calgary wants to, to watch over and take a look at it, which is good. And uh, I think it's a good thing as far as the Harrows go. Uh, Calgary was always kind of a, a, not a funny track, but a different track. Uh, one year you'd go, you'd want to race right after the Harrow, and sometimes you want to yeah. be as far away from the Harrow. So if you have more heroes, it's going to be more equal for everybody and give everybody more opportunity right. to We're going to get into that harrowing too, some more changes. Uh, we do have to take another break, but uh, stay tuned. A lot more offside onside talk coming up on this uh, CPCA Chuck edition of The Gloves Are Off. Mm -hmm. 